I'm Jess and today I'm going to do my August wrap up and I can't believe it's September, like summer's over now and yeah. So I read, I think it's 11 books in August so I'm going to show you them now. The first book I read I finished on the 1st of August and that is Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan and I absolutely love this book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars as I've given every John Green book. But um, it does start off a bit slow, so if you read the first like 50 pages and are bored, I would definitely say continue on because that's what I did and I so regretted not reading it all at once and I had to reread the first 50 pages again because I couldn't remember what actually happened. So if you get bored after the first 50 pages and you are a bit confused what's going on, I definitely recommend just going on with it and pushing through because it does get a hell of a lot better and if I gave it 5 out of 5 stars with that slow start it obviously makes up for it in the rest of the book so yeah that was Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. Next I got started on my challenge for the month which was to finish two series so I read From the Other Night by Veronica Rossi uh, this is the second book in the Under the Never Sky trilogy I really 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 loved this one I have a review of the whole series so I won't talk too much about it but I gave it five out of five stars so you definitely know it's really good Just, I think this one's a bit better than the first one I think but I can't really remember much of the first one but I talk about that in my review anyway so watch that review. Next I read a Rainbow Rowell book and that was Attachments by Rainbow Rowell and I love this book so much I have a review of this too so I won't talk too much but it was so so amazing I'm really really glad I've read this one and I can't wait to read Landline uh, five out of five stars obviously. Then I finished the first series of the month and that was Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi this is the third and final book in the Under the Dead of Skies trilogy and again review so I'm not going to talk too much but I really loved this conclusion to the trilogy I really thought it wrapped it up really well and I just enjoyed the series as a whole, 5 out of 5 stars. So next I read The Lovely and the Last which completed my second um, series of the month which this is the second book in the Dispossessed trilogy but the third one's not published yet so I, I counted that. Um, but I really love this one. I think I love this one a lot more than the first one because just a, it had a lot more action in it and it also um, I liked the romances that were going on, whereas in the first book, um, I didn't really like um, Gabrielle. Is it Gabrielle? Gabby. I didn't really like Gabby's romance go that was going on. I just really liked Luke and um, Ingrid's romance. So I have a review of this, so not too much gonna say. So move on. Next I read a book that I had to take back to the library and that was Shattered by Terry Terry which also completed my third trilogy it. of the month and yeah. that was the Slater's know. trilogy and I didn't really love this one. I only gave it two out of five stars. I just, I didn't, I don't think it knew where it was going and it just didn't do anything for me. I just really didn't like it. I, I didn't think it ended the trilogy very well. I think it was just trying to wrap everything up and it didn't really work. It did the opposite and created moral questions and I just really hated it. And I think it did tie it up in the bow too much and I really didn't like the bow. It just, did, I, it just didn't do anything for me. I loved the rest of the trilogy though, so it was really disappointing, but I I understood what it was, what it was trying to do. I just don't think it did it well for me. So the next book I read was Isla and the Happily Ever After and I love this book so so much. I just, it was so cute and just really lived up to the rest of the series for me. A lot of people are saying that this was their least favourite but I feel like this, I don't, I can't rate the three books at all. I think they're all good in their different ways so to rate them would be difficult for me. I just couldn't do it. So I think I really really love this one and I think they're all on par with each other for me. And I loved the when Anna and Lola came into it and stuff like that. It was just really good. I loved that um Josh was a graphic novel designer, but I have a review so not too much to say. The next book I read is a graphic novel and that was In Real Life by Cory Doctorow and Jen Wang. Um, I just love this one. I have a review with it. I was sent it by uh, for a second books and I just love everything about it. I loved the art. I loved how it, I'm just trying to find the one I love the most. Um, I loved how it depicted um, video game really well and I just loved everything about it. I just think it was just done so well but I have a review of it so I'm not gonna 
say a lot. So I really, I just loved it. And look at that picture on the back. It's just gorgeous artwork. Jen Wang, I just love your art. So yeah, the next book. The next book I read was another review book and that is Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List by David Levithan and Rachel Cohn. I just enjoyed this a lot. Uh, I gave it four out of five stars. Just the one star I lost was because the ending was a bit wrapped up and I didn't really like that it was too wrapped up. Um, but I really enjoyed this one. This one um, shows the argument between a two best friends because Naomi fancies Eli and Eli is gay and then they create a notice list so that they won't fall out over guys and then Eli kisses Naomi's boyfriend and their fight is depicted in this book. It's so good. I remove it. Link will be down below for all the reviews. The next book I read was from the library and that was Supergirl Volume 1, The Last Daughter of Krypton. I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I wish I had it with me because the art was so good in the graphic novel. I really just enjoyed it. I give five out of five stars. Four out of five stars. I get four out of five stars. So yeah, I really enjoyed this uh, comic book, graphic novel, whatever it was. So the last book I read in August was Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor and this was the fourth and final series I finished in August, um, meaning I completed my challenge. And God, it, this is a beast and I loved it so, so much. It was just the best, completed the trilogy so well and it just wrapped everything up really nicely but still left you with questions and I loved it. I really loved it. Five or five stars, just like the rest of the trilogy. One of my favourites. I definitely think you should all read this series and I might do a series review because it was just so action-packed, so good, so different, so unique. It was just so... So good, this is perfect. So that was my August wrap up and I will see you in my next video, goodbye.